approaches you have and then it is in the decision how many like square square feet or whatever so that's exactly what i said Each, yeah. we don't have the details that's why i have asked the including the number of people exactly the so we'll be getting all those details so if you had heard my briefing i'd mentioned that we have asked the deputy commissioner to give us details of the number of families the area the map all the details so that we can then take the necessary decision so like you mentioned in to uh, william nagar there is a kind of uh, precedence but what if uh, somebody will go to court and challenge that these are enclosures why are they uh, why should they get uh, government property and, I mean, so so how that is exactly do yeah. understand that so, so that's exactly the point the point is that in the absence of a decision by the government that is exactly what is happening people are going to court but right now there is going to be a legal document between the government and the lease holder so the person who is settled there right now who is encroached into government land the government will now sign a long term lease saying that now we lease this land out to you so the ownership remains with the government the person is getting a long term lease based on that long term lease the person can now at least get basic things like water supply electricity you know they can even apply for loan uh, from the bank and they get a documentation from the government legalizing that land but in terms of a long term lease so it's a ownership but long term ownership of a government long term lease for the uh, lease for the public regularizing the entire process so that no more legal hassles are there in the future and how, how many years are this long term lease so we will see all those proposals we have asked the department uh, the dc to give us the proposal and based on the rules and the norms that are there right now as per government rules we will decide so we have to